Hello, well today it's a special video and I'm out in the van with Rick Van Man and we're in search for Chilton Foliat and if you remember back in the 80s there was a TV show called The Victorian Kitchen Garden starring Harry Dodson and we're trying to find where the garden is. Now there's a big house up there, you can just about see through the trees, there's like a stately home and that house is the house that actually featured in the series. So we must be quite close. There you go, you can just about see it. So I've got a feeling, Rick, that if we go down this lane, that's where the garden will be. Now the series stopped in about 1986, so I'm not expecting great things. I've been told that it's basically a field now and that everything's collapsed. So it'll be a sorry sight, but we'll just have a look. Because here is where the wall is of the Victorian kitchen garden. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I've just thought, I've just, had a quick look through the fence there, and it is a, it's a sorry sight. Estate. You can go in. I think we can go in because I think there's shops there. It's a, it's a little, it's a little business village. Yeah. Could do with a cup of tea. Yeah. So these are the stables that were next door to the Victorian kitchen garden, which we never actually saw on the series. But I remember speaking to Harry Dodson a few years ago, just before he died. He said this is where the old stables were, where they used to get the manure. But now, I think it's just like a, a, business, a business center. Let's have a little look around. Now what they used to do with these walls is they used to put like a, a radiator within them. So there was a fire in, in the wall. So here we go, folks. If you love the series, you everything might be shattered now in a few seconds. So here it is. Um, <laughs> can't see a lot, but there's not a lot going on. Now I'm trying to work out, this might actually be the second garden, because there were two gardens, although that central path there does look like no i think this is the second garden because if i remember this was the garden that they used for the wartime kitchen and garden series okay and the next door over there somewhere is actually the main kitchen garden what i have been told is that the lady in hungerford owns a a flower store and she grows some of her flowers here, so at least there is a tiny bit of gar gardening that's going on. There's a polytunnel there, if you can just, if I can try and get the camera in as far as possible. So we just take a stroll down to the left and we yeah. might see something. But this wall is quite a nice wall to have. One of the problems with this type of wall is, he said that Sometimes when you get a cold air goes in, it just eddies ar around the wall and then it destroys crops. And if you know the series, you will know that that is the hill over there where they were burning the stubble in the episode in October, November. This is how much I know about the series, unfortunately. <laughs> a bit too much. A bit of a series geek by the sound of it. I was hoping there'd be a, a gate there. Yeah. So I think this part here this wall here is actually the kitchen garden and that the wall down there was actually where they did the wartime garden. Now I don't want to go too close because it's obviously somebody's house but the house here is the home where Harry Dodson lived in the small cottage and obviously they've done the roof up and everything. Did it used to be thatched? I think it was thatched. Okay. Not too sure but the garden was there and Harry was always in the garden at 6.30 in the morning, so it was fairly close. You can just about see there, that's the main house where all the food from the Victorian kitchen garden went to to feed the, uh, the lord of the manor. 
because even though it was an important aspect for the house, it was tucked away. But it's not as far away as I actually was expecting. But yes, I think this part here is definitely the section that they used for the wartime kitchen garden. It's a shame I couldn't find anyone, so let's go in and have a, have a little look in the film. If you look through that archway there, it's through that arch, I think, is where, oh, I see. where the actual garden is. And the archway there. So that's one of the lean-to greenhouses. It's quite possible that there are actually still some of the fruit in there that that Harry Dodson uh, tended to. Very quiet, isn't it? Oh, there's the there's the lean-to um, in that series that you showed me. Mm -hmm. That looks like the, the Victorian lean-to. Yes, Rick um, watched the wartime series before we came down to the garden. So for you to see this bit of land, this is where they were actually pull, pulling up the trees. But it's quite clear that that, that that is where the central path was there. Is that broken glass? I think it is. Mm. Actually, it looks like polythene from here. Now this building on the right hand side is the fruit store. This is where they used to store the fruit. It's beautiful to see. Nice big building. And that straw is about a foot deep in those walls. And here we are. Here are some of the, out, the outer buildings where they used to store pots. And that bit there is where they used to wash the pots. Well, I think the actual garden that we know is on the left hand side there, through these big gates. I'm just walking down here because I'm hoping I'll bump into somebody that I can have a word with who can direct me in the right place. So that's Harry's cottage there and then this is the Victorian kitchen garden. All looking very sad but at least the grass is being kept. So this is where they had some of the crops on the left hand side. The greenhouses were here on the right if you look, there's an archway. Through the archway down the central path would have been the other beds. It's not as bad as what I was expecting. And there's some trees. Look, there's some of the original trees there. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And there's a bench there where you can sit and contemplate of things that had been. Well, I'm quite pleased with, with what I've seen. It's not that bad. so calm and quiet here. It's very easy to let the imagination run wild and hear the voices of Harry Dodson and Peter Thode as they went around making the series. So oh, there it is, that's our visit to the Victorian kitchen garden just beyond that wall. And when you're on this side of the wall and you haven't seen it, it's quite easy to keep that memory alive of a busy garden during the Victorian days with Harry Dodson busy 
tending to his crops. It wouldn't take much to put a garden like this back into service, but it's just the money. If there were a lot of volunteers, I'm sure it could be done. But it just depends whether the landowner wants something like that done. But the thing that I was surprised by was the size of it, of how small the actual garden was. And that's without the greenhouses. It does feel strange to be walking here and things that I've watched on TV for 20 years. Especially things like this, the old pot stove. There you go, touching a bit of history that, that Harry Dodson would have touched. This is where they housed all the fruit. They used to put the fruit in here before it was ready to be eaten and the night the nice cool air that was inside this building then ripened them. As you can see there, there's a window. They, could, they took that window off in the series. And that's how you could see that it was so thick the walls were. But beautiful bit of structure this. This thatch roof. I wonder if there's any fruit in there. It's nice to think that the place is still full of fruit and that Harry's just gone for a cup of tea. And who knows, this building here could have been Harry's office. The rest of the outer buildings have been turned into offices and it's good to think that there's at least some life returning to the building. So down there is where the garden is and all the outside buildings. And then this side, this is where they kept the stables. We never saw this bit in the series. But what's quite good is they've actually put life back into these buildings and they've put small businesses here. There's a framing shop, place to buy sofas. Now in the series, Harry talked about the Bothy. This is where all the workers for the garden used to live. And this is the actual bothy that was in the series. If you look just be beyond the bothy, you'll see the walls of the garden are just there. So the workers didn't have far to go because they did start quite early in the morning and work until quite late in the night. And if the greenhouses weren't at the desired temperature, it was their job to go back out. And even if it was like one o'clock in the morning to make sure that the temperatures in the greenhouse were within one degree of what the master wanted. Beautiful building, isn't it? It's good just to be here and feel the, the spirit of the place. And we've always got the series to look back on and look and to rekindle those memories. So from me, until next time, bye for now.